Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty huge Korean skincare haul slash first impressions slash review to share with you guys because many weeks ago Pona Draw generously sent me nine skincare products to try. So if you're like me and you haven't heard of Pona Draw prior to them reaching out to me or in your case prior to this video, Pona Draw is a Korean skincare company that prioritizes manufacturing cruelty-free skincare products that are suitable for people with sensitive skin, meaning that they pay a lot of attention to the ingredients of their skincare products to ensure that they are not only effective on the skin but also gentle enough for people with sensitive skin. So since I do have sensitized skin, that was a major plus for me and it was also one of the reasons why I decided to let them send me some products. Uh, of course, with my current skin condition, I had to pick every single product myself to ensure that they will more or less be suitable for my skin type. Um, and one thing I love about their website is that you can easily get all the essential information you'll need on the product page. For example, the key ingredients, what it is free from, like free fragrance, parabens, silicone, alcohol, and etc. The percentage of oils, which is a really useful and helpful information for people with acne prone skin like myself. And last but not least, if you require the full ingredient list, it is also available on the product page. So because they sent me so many products to try at once, it is impossible for me to try every single one of them without wasting products. And I don't like wasting products. And so today's video is going to be more of a first impression slash introducing the products to you guys and also a review for a couple of the products that I've already started using. So if I do end up liking or have any burning opinions about the other products that I've yet to try, I will definitely mention them in future videos. So if you don't want to miss out on that, you can subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. First, I have the Green Tea Deep Cleansing Water, which is a water-based makeup remover. So as you may know, I have been using the Bioderma Sensor Bio Micellar Solution for a very long time right now. And not too long ago, I remember one of you asking me if I have any other water-based makeup removers to recommend. So when I saw this product on Pona Cho, I thought I would just give it a go, give it a try, and see if it will work as well as the Micellar Solution. So this product is marketed to be one that is refreshing, gentle, yet effective at removing heavy makeup, excessive sebum, while still keeping the skin moisturized. So I've already started using this product. In fact, I have been using this product a lot ever since I received it and I'm really surprised at how well this removed my heavy makeup aka liquid foundation and waterproof mascara as well. Because this product contains a lot of plant extracts like centella, thyme, tea tree, lavender, and etc. It has a very mild nature scent which I really like because it's very calming and it's very pleasant as well despite this product being 100% fragrance free. After using this makeup remover, my skin does not feel irritated or uncomfortable or tight which is often the case when I use uh, makeup removers that are too harsh or drying on my skin. Another thing I love about this product is how it makes my skin feel very refreshed. Um, it's different from the micellar solution, I don't know how to explain it but it just feels very refreshing which is something that I really like. So for people who wear makeup every single day or if you have really sensitized, sensitive skin or if you have skin conditions like eczema or rosacea, then I want to point out that this product does contain alcohol, but it is the very last ingredient. So for this product, I probably only use it like once a week, so I don't think the alcohol content is enough to irritate my skin. But if you do wear makeup every single day, then I feel like that is something you have to take note of. The other cleanser I chose is the Jeju Milk Soft Foaming Cleanser. So once again, as you may or may not know, my holy grail cleanser is the Etude House Sunjong pH 6.5 Whip Cleanser. So since falling in love with that cleanser, I have been very intrigued to try other foaming cleansers as well. So I found that the description of this cleanser was very interesting on their website because it says that this cleanser contains 10 herbal ingredients that will not only soothe your skin but also your mind. As you might be able to tell from the name of this product, its key ingredient is the milk protein which supposedly nourishes and moisturizes the skin. To reduce skin irritations, this cleanser is also free from any harsh surfactants. So this is another product that I've started using already because coincidentally I emptied my Etude House Sunjong one. And actually I started using the iUnique Centella Bubble Foam first. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't really enjoy that one too much. I feel like it's because the foam doesn't really hold itself well. So if I were to use the Ionique cleanser with a wet face, the foam will just melt into nothing. And I just always feel like I'm not doing a proper job at cleansing my skin. Another reason why I didn't enjoy the Ionique one was because it has a really strong tea tree scent. Uh, whereas for this one, even though it does contain essential oil, uh, the scent is very mild, which is what I prefer. So overall, my experience with with this cleanser, I would say it's quite similar to the Etude House one in a sense that it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight or uncomfortable and it 
does leave my skin still feeling moisturized after cleansing but at the same time it does a really great job in cleansing my skin um, I wouldn't replace my active house cleanser with this one though since this one does contain uh, essential oils and I just prefer something that is 100% fragrance free Moving on, I've got three toners and obviously I did not use all three of them at once. Um, I'm actually in the midst of collecting uh, reviews for a bunch of toners because I am planning to do a huge collective toner review. So I probably will mention all three toners in that video and so in today's video, I'm just going to briefly introduce the products to you guys. So beginning with the Green Tea Water Bomb Toner, I decided to try this product because when I was introduced to the brand Pona Chua, I was being told that one of their best sellers is the green tea water bomb cream but since that moisturizer contains oils I felt that it might not be suitable for my skin and so I decided to go for the toner instead so this toner is oil free fragrance free and it's supposed to be very gentle and moisturizing for the skin I like that this toner contains three different types of hyaluronic acid for some extra hydration six different peptides to support your skin's barrier health and also other soothing ingredients so having sensitized and dehydrated skin I am obsessed with hydrating and soothing toner like this and so I just felt that it will be very suitable for my skin so as you can see this is a product I've already started using and uh, yeah unfortunately I broke the bottle which is why this has been my go-to toner for the past couple of weeks so I would say that I have been enjoying this toner it has a pretty thick consistency which feels very moisturizing because it takes a longer time for it to be absorbed into your skin so I've been really enjoying this product especially in the evenings because right now I work out in the evenings so I will shower immediately after that and that will be around like 7 p.m. which is too early for me to do my nighttime skincare routine because I have to eat dinner and brush my teeth and etc and so after I shower I just like to use this product on my skin because it really helps keep my skin moisturized and it also balances the pH level of my skin back to an acidic level. The next toner I have is the Bioactive Resurrection Plant Toner Mist. Resurrection Plant, doesn't that just remind you of Kingdom? <laughs> Anyway, I chose this product because it is oil-free, fragrance-free, and generally, I just really like toners that come in a mist bottle. So this toner also contains hyaluronic acid, but in comparison to the green tea water bomb toner, I would say that this product probably focuses more on using nature ingredients like plant and flower extract to moisturize and soothe the skin rather than chemical ingredients like hyaluronic acid, glycerine, and etc. Because this toner does contain 90% of plant extracts. It's key ingredient the resurrection plant is also supposedly full of nutrients for the skin and it also hydrates this is a product I've yet to try but generally I would say that this will fall under um, like a hydrating and soothing toner category as well the last toner I chose is the eggplant daily BHA toner so I'm always talking about how BHA is good to have in your routine if you have acne prone skin and so when I saw this oil free BHA toner I obviously had to try it so this toner only contains 0.48% of BHA which I actually do like because I have sensitive skin so it gets dehydrated and irritated very easily if I overuse chemical exfoliants and so I feel like this low percentage is good for people with acne prone and sensitive skin. Additionally this toner also contains eggplant that supposedly helps with blemishes as well so having acne prone skin I'm really excited to try this product but the only thing that is holding me back is the fact that I don't know how much fragrance there is in this product since there is 0.48% of salicylic acid there is a chance that this might contain more than 0.1% of fragrance so I don't know and so the only way is just to pay really close attention to how my skin is feeling when I use this product moving on to serums the first one I have is the green multivitamin vital nutrition serum so this serum contains vitamin C and niacinamide to help clear the skin and brighten up the skin tone as well so I chose this product because it is oil free and it is supposed to be fragrance free as well but after taking a closer look at the full ingredient list I found out that this actually does contain uh, essential oils and so even though on the website it says that it's fragrance free they just mean that it is artificial fragrance free nevertheless since the essential oils are the last couple of ingredients uh, I will probably still try this product out but this is a product I have not started using yet because currently I'm using the next serum that I'll be talking about and it is the extreme spot serum 
So this serum is kind of like an all-in-one for people with acne prone skin because its three key ingredients are centella, niacinamide, and snail which are all really beneficial ingredients for acne prone skin. Centella has antifungal, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory properties. Niacinamide helps with blemishes and it also helps reduce the appearance of enlarged pores. Lastly, snail is a really powerful wound healing ingredient that can help speed up the healing process of not only acne but acne marks as well. All three ingredients also have moisturizing properties and on top of that, this serum is 100% fragrance free and oil free. Another highlight of this product is that it has a small molecule component which will help the active ingredients penetrate your skin better. So this is a product I started using already and I just realized that I'm more than halfway through this bottle already so I guess you can tell that this is a product I've been really enjoying. So this product has a really pleasant gel-like consistency and it feels quite thick but once you blend it out and spread it out onto your skin, it's actually very lightweight and since it's gel-like, it sort of melts into a more watery consistency and so it doesn't leave any tacky or sticky feeling on your skin afterwards. Moving on, I've got this product called the Derma MDK and it is a Centella Asia Tika MPU. Honestly, I didn't expect this product to be so tiny because prior to using this, I was actually using the Skin Chansa Centella MPU which comes in a really huge bottle and so in comparison, this is really tiny. So the highlight of this MPU is that it not only contains Centella Asia Tika but it also contains components of Centella Asia Tika which have similar benefits as Centella Asia Tika and they are anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, moisture soothing and skin regeneration. Additionally, this also has the small molecule component thing and so it will help the active ingredients penetrate into your skin better. Other than that, this MPU also contains niacinamide and elantoin to boost the moisturizing and soothing effects. So this is a product I've started using already and in comparison to the Skin Chansa Centella MPU, I would say that this one has a much more thicker consistency and so I feel that it is more suitable to be used at night if you have oily skin. So for me, I only use this at night and I usually use one full drop for my entire face and neck. I would say that I have been enjoying this product. I do feel like it's very calming and I do feel like it has also helped speed up the recovery of my skin from the irritations caused by the alcohol from the VT Cosmetics products. Unfortunately, this is just so tiny so I actually emptied it already. Um, but I feel like this is a product that I want to continue using so I feel like that's a really good sign. So the last product I chose is the Peptype Water Bomb. So I really wanted to try a moisturizer from this brand but because all of them contains oil, I just thought, okay fine, I'm just gonna choose the one that contains the least amount of oil and that is this product. So even though I didn't request for it, Ponantua also sent me their bestseller which is the Green Tea Water Bomb. So this one contains 15% of oils whereas this one contains 10% of oil. So the highlight of this moisturizer is that it contains hyaluronic acid to attract and retain moisture in the skin and it also contains various peptides to keep the skin youthful looking and healthy. So these two ingredients will also help with the healing of broken skin barrier or if you don't have a broken skin barrier, this product will also help maintain the health of your skin's barrier. So since this moisturizer contains 10% of sunflower seed oil, I'm not going to use it as my main moisturizer but I actually have started using this product on the days where I feel like my skin is slightly more dehydrated. So in comparison to the Bioderma Hydro Bio Gel Cream which is another moisturizer that I used to use very frequently that also contains oil. I feel like this one has a much more water content because it doesn't feel as thick and oily as the Bioderma Hydro Bio Gel Cream. Additionally, I really like that this is fast absorbing because having oily skin, I just don't really like the feeling of thick heavy creams. So far, I would say that it is too soon to tell if this product will clog my pores or not. But I would say that I have been loving how quick it works in uh, reducing the irritations my skin is feeling from being dehydrated. So that is a wrap on all the products I received from Ponachua and I must say that I am really pleasantly surprised with all of the products and I have been enjoying all of them. I'm also really excited to start using the products that I've yet to try because they all just sound so promising. Another great thing about Ponachua is that all of their products are very affordable as well. I believe none of the products are above $20. So in the meantime, as I continue trying the products out, if you feel like any of these products will be suitable for your skin and you want to test them out for yourself as well, make sure to open in the description box because I'll leave the link to their website and also to all the products that I've mentioned in today's video. So with that said, we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to thank you so much for watching and also to Pona Draw for sponsoring this video and I hope that you're doing 
well and I hope that you're all having fun at home and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!